Hello everyone. So I am trying a different computer and so I my laptop had decided to the speakers decided to go weird and then people keep hearing a funny sound um, on the the audio feedback on the YouTube channel that us for some reason I can't actually hear on my computer and so I assume it's my computer and I, of course, live, uh, let's see, two hours from the Apple Store. <laughs> so it becomes a little difficult for me to get to the Apple Store and somehow manage to do a full work day because it kills my entire day to go to the Apple Store. So I am trying another computer um, with my same blue speaker, which is a very good microphone, I should say. Um, and so give me some feedback if you're hearing a funny buzz. Um, people have been really nice about it. I so appreciate the, the you know... Karen and, and letting, letting me know because I can't hear it on my computer. So we're on a new computer. We're on a different computer with the same microphone. Hopefully it's not the microphone because it's a $300 microphone, but you never know. And Mercury is retrograde and I, the, based on my chart, the Mercury retrogrades always get me. So thank you everyone for being patient <laughs> with me, with this craziness. All right. We're going to try and do the numerology and the astrology for October 21st, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number eight. Um, you've heard me say the eight is about grief and loss and sadness. It's about connecting your higher self to your human self and your human self, then having an experience and informing your higher self. So it means sort of like as above, so below, as below, so above. It is uh, considered a day of grief and loss and sadness. And so, you know, I think it's a, uh, how can I say this? I think every time the universe has cracked my heart open, um, I have learned more compassion and I have been a kinder person. So I don't think that sadness is a bad thing. Um, I think that it points out that we're out of alignment with something somewhere whether it's our morals, our values, our perspective, our belief systems, um, the loss of something, but it, it oftentimes is a, a pattern within our own mind. So while today I uh, can try to throw you in some various ways and keep hope in your heart and believe in the goodness that is everywhere in the world, know that there, there are those out there attempting to do good in horrific circumstances. Know that there are those that are bravely standing in long lines to vote. Know that there are those that face hate daily and still have beautiful hearts and souls and a smile on their face. Know that animals are being rescued, are incredibly grateful and beyond anything in gratitude that any human could understand. Know that appreciation is not hard to offer. And today is a day that can that that can really make a difference in someone's day. Kindness gives hope and hope gives all life a chance. So, OK, now um, the astrology for today and I am navigating a different kind of cursor here. So I apologize in advance I'm trying to figure out this cursor on Wednesday. Uh, Venus is in harmony with powerful Pluto. It may feel as if everything gets deeper. Try sharing the emotions with others that have held you back till now. Learn to use your power in a softer way. The moon moves out of Sagittarius and goes into the more serious and complicated sign of Capricorn. Order and structure are the name of the day. <laughs> Objectives are clear. Much is at stake and everyone knows it. The moon and Uranus are in alignment in an easier and more cooperative way, and it is time to use that in a way that inspires new ideas and opens hearts. That may be a bit of a trick because of the Mercury retrograde. Know that you might get words right, but if your heart is not right there feeling into others, your sensitivity may be lacking. We are still desperately caught in a world of two minds and decisions are hard to enact. Do your best to listen and cooperate. Venus forms a trine to Pluto, and you are wanting to share your life in more meaningful ways. Something strong in your core is rising up and strengthening your resolve. Make sure your choices do not destroy those things that you cherish and love. Your focus needs to be inclusive rather than exclusive. We need a world that gives hope to all, not just to all, not 
hate to a few. Let me say that again. We need a world that gives hope to all, not hate to a few. I probably should put a comma there. I'll put a comma there right now. <laughs> so, ah, comma. Okay, now, navigating this cursor again. These new computers have a different way of doing it. Ah, okay, so here we go. Um, so, that is my quote for today, in case you didn't notice that. We need a world that gives hope to all, not hate to a few. My blog for today. I can feel the earth attempting to make an adjustment. As each small shift happens, it destabilizes the old reality that can make you feel spinny and vacuous for a bit. It's very much like how animals detect earthquakes before they happen. They act sort of strange and they start running around seeking a way out. We all go through phases of this and are in one right now. So don't beat yourself up if you feel discombobulated. You are not alone. Look at me. <laughs> okay, so the truth is that the majority of us have each other's backs. Somebody got my back back there? <laughs> okay, now, um, and, you know, I believe in the highest human, poten human potential that I can conceive of in this human body. I will not let go of that faith in goodness that is this reality that offers regardless what others intend to do. I have a deep-seated knowing that we cannot move past this dimension and density if we cannot learn to align with that potential and hold that as the ultimate and only truth for the salvation of this world. Thank you so much for putting up with my crazy video today. Whew, okay, and by the way, we did have an earthquake here last night and we had an earthquake this morning and it was discombobulating me last night and it was like, Boom! It just did. It just was like one little boom. It wasn't a big bad rock and sock 'em beat 'em up kind of earthquake, but it was still just like whoa, okay, and then it did it again. Whoa! So maybe that's what today is about. Somebody going whoa to you. Okay, talk to you later.